Right now, the government owns 62% of RBS, but they've pledged to sell the public stake back to the private sector in the next few years, and there's rumours they want to speed up the sale in the next few weeks. But it's estimated the government's plans would cost the public £28.5 billion because the shares are worth half what they were when we paid for them. Selling off RBS would be a huge mistake. While we've got one of the UK's biggest banks in public hands, it's a unique opportunity to reform our broken banking system for the good. Our big banks have a record of consistently failing to meet the needs of the UK economy, with the majority of their lending going on speculation on financial markets and property. Very little money invested in productive areas of the economy, like small businesses, or manufacturing, or the green economy. RBS is the poster child of this broken system. It's shutting down branches, cutting people off from essential banking services, and it's been embroiled in scandal after scandal. Right now, we own 62% of RBS. So rather than selling it off to private shareholders who want to carry on with business as usual, the government should be making it work in the public interest. The bank should be given a mission to invest in small businesses, to provide services to neglected communities, to invest in the green economy, and to support the parts of the country that are still reeling from the aftermath of the financial crash in 2008. So before the government moves to sell off more shares and is no longer the majority stakeholder, we want to stop it. And we know that that's what the public wants. We've kicked off a big public campaign to stop this disastrous sale before it's too late. Since our launch last week, we've had a fantastic response. Already over 10,000 signatures on the petition, public endorsements from influential MPs like Clive Lewis and Caroline Lucas, coverage in The Guardian, The Financial Times and The Independent, and not only that, we've had support from other organisations like We Own It and the New Economics Foundation. And nearly 600 MPs have heard from nearly 3,000 of us about this issue. So what's the plan next? Well, while the Chancellor, Philip Hammond, is deliberating whether to sell more shares, we need more people to pile in so together we can crank up the pressure on him. So please hit share on this video and tag at least three friends who you think will sign the petition to stop the RBS sell-off.